So here's an inspection I've made already. I've already entered some identifiers as shown. Okay, so when reports, I need to click here. I'm going to do a right click and choose it from this menu. Okay, now you need to tick which report type you like and also which view in terms of the graphic details. So I want the XY and the YZ view. Now show ID refers to this little tab here. It shows the XY view, so that'll be on a report. And show grid shows this background. I'm also going to choose tab tabulated dimensions. If we look at the headers, I've already entered some information. Now I want to enter a material, so if I click Edit Labels, I can change one of the headings. I'm actually going to call that one material instead. Now I can pull material from the program. So if we click on this I button here, you can see we've got material here. So I'm going to copy this, which is Control C. Then click in here and do, do a Control V to paste. And that will pull the material from the program. So you see it's set to mild steel. I'm going to run the reports. You see there's three reports generated. You have an XY view, a YZ view, and a tabulated dimensions view. Okay, so you have the identifiers which are edited, the nominal, actual, the error, up and lower tolerance, and a pass fail statement. We also have geometric information. So this stage we can print either to a PDF or to a local printer. We can also save individual files and they're saved as Excel spreadsheet format. We can save all the files which I've done here. So in this case I need to create a folder to save them or choose a folder. So I'm going to create one in this case. And that's saved three files to that folder. Okay, I'm just going to clear this viewer. So this is a report viewer, so I can look at files at any time. So I can load a file by this button. So I can pick individual files. Or I can open an entire folder. So I click on folder. I need to locate the one I created just now. Click OK, and you see it's brought in all the inspections from that folder. Okay, so I'm going to select the appropriate report types. I'll choose Feature Profile as well. Now we need to choose which feature to report. So we're going to click on Add Feature. We're going to use our reference circle, which I've measured with quite a number of points. So if you right click on it, you can see you've taken 39 points and you can see some form error. So at the moment, the plus or minus five micron bands are showing. I can change those to whatever I like. If I edit the top one, then the bottom will also change. So I can change the bottom one independently. I can adjust the zoom to suit my report. So I'm going to run these reports. Okay, the first one's tabulated features. So we've got a list of features as we measured them. So a feature one was a plane, a little direction vector, number of points, and a geometric value. And this just continues. So you also have circles, lines. So the information is not really a dimensional one, purely the information about the feature. This is point unit details. So this lists every feature which is regarded as a point. So in this case, all the circles have a center, so they're regarded as points. But it will also include point intersections or points measured. So we list a position and an error, but it's not a true position report. 
And finally, we have our feature profile. So graphically shows the error of the feature. So we have the form error, plus or minus tolerance, and a nice graphic showing what the problems are. Okay, so I've run this program twice now. I go to our reports, choose multiple components. Now the option I'm going to choose to start with is standard. We do have various options. Run the reports, and you can see we have the identifier here, component one and component two, and its results are directly underneath. Now choose by dimension. Now you have some options on the right hand side. I choose to select various headings or unselect them. This time we have the identifiers down the side, nominals and upper limits, and then at the very end we have the values for each component. You notice we have some blanks here. So I can actually put a character in there or characters, and this character is going to put some asterisks in the no data string box. Okay, and that blanks things out. So that's quite useful if you're exporting the data for third party softwares. You can also change the number of cells to the identifier. I'll choose eight cells. And you notice now I have eight individual cells which make up the identifier row. Okay, I'll choose by component. So down inside we have identifier, nominal, up and low and geometric limit. And below that we have each component. So component one and component two. Now separate sheets will put all the reports on individual sheets. So we have report one, or component one. And at the bottom we can tab along to component two. Thanks to get back to standard. Okay. Okay, so this report type will show the last run program and show a summary. So in this case, I've got a failed inspection. I'm just going to switch this on to show the summary that when the program finishes. OK, I'm just going to run this program back. And because I selected Show the Report Summary, this appears. OK, showing a failure on a 12 mil circle. And I can either save this or print that as well. So I go to Reports. Run the CNC last run report. Okay, and we have a summary of what we've just seen. So it failed on a 12 mil circle. So what we're going to do now is just change a change a tolerance so this actually passes this time. Run the program back again. So this time the summary says pass. We have no failures, so it just says pass. Run reports. Run this one again. And this time we have a pass statement. So it's just a summary of what was run. Okay, this tutorial will show you the printing of a CAD report. So I have a small inspection with a PEC scanned slot from our test piece. So I've already linked it to the CAD. If I right click on the feature, you can see the points on the CAD. Now if I adjust this, I can adjust the transparency. And also I can adjust the thickness of these lines. So I'm going to run reports now. So while this is open, 
and tick the right reports that I want. Now, because unit 5 curve is open, it's already appeared in this list. Now, if I want to add a feature, just click on Add, choose Red, and I'm going to add the center circle also. Now I'm going to right click and copy this and also paste it into the other type of report. So I've got tabulated and graphics. I'm going to run the reports. So now I have the tabulated for the slot, all the nominals, all the deviations, tabulated for the circle, graphics for the slot, and also graphics for the circle. OK, so I have a simple inspection. I go to run reports. I will sort out my headers. So I've got a customer called AirTrain, titled location spigot, and I've got a drawing number. Now the inspector, that could be a variable. It could change depending on who's running the program. So if I do an open curly bracket, then a hash key, type an inspector and close bracket, the program will prompt for an inspector's name before it runs. Now the material, now that's part of the program. So if I click on here, I can copy this line for Control C and Control V to paste, and it will call it the material with the program. The date is also a variable, and that can be copied from here. Control C again, Control V. Temperature, again, that's recorded with the program. So down here we have the material and the temperature. We have an option here to copy this. Control C. Control V, and that will bring in the temperature from the program. Okay, serial number, that's going to change with the component. So I'm going to copy this line, which is asking for a serial number, and you notice it has a hash at the start. So that's what will prompt the software to stop and ask you to type in a number. So Control V. Okay, I want on a graphics report, just the XY view. Apply those changes. Now, when the program runs, I have to decide what I want to do. Do I want to view the file? Do I want to save the file, or print the file, or none of these? So clicking on these, I can turn them on and off. In this case, I want to view and save. Now, because I'm saving the file, the software needs to know where to save this to. So on the right-hand side here, we have the option to use the inspection path. Or we can go to advanced, and that should be used a destination where the file was called from. So I'm come down to here to find inspector, inspection directory, there it is. Control C, Control V. Okay, so it's actually asking me now for the inspector's name and their serial number. So I'm gonna type this in. Type in the serial number. Okay. I'm going to do a backslash here. OK, I want to create a folder related to the program. So I'm going to use H2. So I'm going to use open curly bracket, H2, close curly bracket, which will use location spigot as a folder name. You can see it down here. That's a folder it will create. OK, so I also need a report name. So again, I'm going to use advance. I'm going to pull the information from the inspection file. So I want the file name to include the customer. So I put H1. I want the file name to also include the part or the title. In this case, location spigot. So that's H2. And finally, I want the serial number as part of this file name. So that's going to be H8. OK, apply the changes. OK, now I'm going to run this file. OK, so the inspector in this case is me, so I type my name. And the serial number of this particular component is 34. We're going to run the file. And when it finishes, it should pop up with the report, because we asked to view it when it finished. And it will also save it. Okay, so here's the report. So you notice we've got the headings. 
ones we typed in, and also the ones we used for variables, the so temperature, material, serial number, date, and the vector name. Now we'll just check it's saved in the right place. So go to File Explorer. So this is where the program ran from. So it created this folder, and here's the, the name it created for the inspection file. So we go to Report Viewer. I'm just going to clear this one. I'm just going to open the file we just created. So I'm going to navigate to the right folder. And there's one we just done. Open. So we can view the file at any time.